Hey everyone, this is Gleb and I'm happy to record this new Cypress recipe after a little bit of a break. I had this question asked, imagine you have this table right here with prices and you want to find all the prices for California. So these are cells that start with CA. And then you want to parse this text and extract just the dollar prices, convert strings to numbers and then confirm that the sum is equal to something. And you might want to write a utility function or a page object with a method. A user sends something like this, some California prices where it goes over each row of a body of this table, tries to use sci each and sci wrap and see if the text starts with CA like this cell. And then what do you do? How do you get the actual sum from this function? So let me show you my way of writing this test to confirm that the sum of California prices for this table is equal to 3 plus 5, 8. But you, of course, can refactor it and maybe move some logic into the function versus the rest of the test. Okay, so let me shift this to the left. And let's for now remove it, uh, the content, right? Let's just leave a function. And we're not even going to call it for now. But the first thing we want to factor out is how do we get of the cells with prices there in a second column of a body of this table. So right here we can use sci get and we can say okay, there is a table with prices I believe, right? And it gives us instant feedback, right? Um, uh, if we call this function, did we find? Yes, we got the table and we're interested in the body element inside the table and maybe the rows. So this would give a separate element for rows in the body of this table. But we're interested only in the cells and right now it will give us all eight cells because there are two columns, four rows. And we're interested in the nth child selector and I think the index should be two. Yes. Okay, so now we get all the cells in the second column. All right. So we just got that, okay? And now we want to filter them and we want to leave only the cells with the inner text that starts with CA. And we can use sci filter command that gives us an ability to specify a predicate callback. And the first argument is the index and then the text, I mean the element. And I don't remember if it's a jQuery object. Let's assume it's just a dumb element. So we can say inner text starts with and then we can say California. Does it work? Okay, so we had four cells and then we filtered and I think we filtered correctly. So now we have only the Californian prices cells. Okay, so now we want to sum them up, right? We need to get the text, we need to parse it, but we need to get this text from this function. So how do we do that? Well, we'll just return the whole chain of Cypress commands. Okay, so now we can say this returns a chain, which will be just the filtered cells. And now we can do, for example, map inner text. So SciMap comes from my Cypress map plugin. Okay, so we have just the inner text. So this should be an array of strings. And then we can for each thing uh, map invoke, right? We want to go for each string and invoke method split, I believe, and we can use the dollar sign as a separator. Okay, so right here. And let's just print it. So I'll use cyprint that comes from Cypress map. And notice we split the text into two items. And now we just want to grab the item at index one. So zero, one. Okay, so we can use map invoke again. We're dealing with array of arrays. So we'll use at and index. And let's just move print right here. Notice now we got an array of numbers, but it's not numbers yet. There's still a string. So we need to map each string into a number. And now we have actual prices. Okay. And we can use reduce again, comes from Cypress map. It's a query. Oh, and here I think it's like sum and current price and we can return sum plus current and we start with zero as the sum and let's just move it right here. Okay. 
So we have the correct sum 8, and we can just now assert that it equals to 8. All right, so this is how I would maybe create a little utility function, which gives me just the Californian prices. And of course, we can pass the state right here. So we can pass the CA parameter. And now we say should start with the state name or abbreviation, and it gives the same thing. So it's up to you how you're going to refactor utility function versus the rest of the test that processes the elements and confirms the expected amount. All right, so find this example and lots more Cypress recipes at my Cypress example site that I will link in the description of this video. Ciao.